What's up, YouTube? It's your boy, Double A Nine Skills. I put a video about a week ago, and in the comments down below, I told you to vote. What's the next career mode? Who do you want to see? Well, for my surprise, there was Roma, there was Monaco, there was a lot of big teams. Arsenal as well. Arsenal and Monaco are the ones I saw the most of, but after looking at thumbs up and what got most thumbs up, it seemed like it was Arsenal to me. And I thought to myself, it's pretty much a tradition at this point. It's pretty much a tradition for us to take Arsenal. Like every single year I do Arsenal, and we gotta build Arsenal because Arsenal has so much. 14 years without a title, 14 years. We gotta make it happen. If you guys don't know how my career modes work, you leave what you want in the comments down below. Whatever gets the most thumbs up down there gets voted to the top and I make it happen. I wanna build this team into an attacking team with superstars. I'm going to talk about it all in a minute. Before we jump into the episode, if you are excited for this one as much as I'm excited, smash that thumbs up. Can we get this 5,000 likes? And with that being said, let's jump into this Arsenal career mode, man. I'm excited. Thumbs this thing up and let's get this party started. We're going to build Arsenal right. Let's get it. Welcome to Rebuilding Arsenal. Welcome back to the brand new career mode. We had two amazing seasons with Dortmund in the Bundesliga, but now we're heading back to England, back to the Premier League, back to Arsenal. But let me tell you why I'm so excited to rebuild Arsenal and why I'm so excited so so many of you guys picked Arsenal. It's been 14 years, 14 years since Arsenal has won titles. Now, they've looked better under their new manager. They've looked really good. They look like there's times where they look like they could even compete and, and contend for the title under their new manager, okay? Things are looking brighter, but I wanna step in because even with this new manager, even with Arsene Wenger, things couldn't get done. And that's why I'm stepping in to rebuild Arsenal, and we're gonna re rebuild Arsenal to the best Arsenal I think that that's ever been seen, bro. And I know that's saying something because of the Invincibles, but as we look at it, first of all, I take a look and I'm like, look, we ain't running this five back nonsense, okay? It ain't happening. And there's so many players here that I just feel like their time is up. And we're gonna do Arsenal a little bit different this time, okay? Because they do have some great talent. Like my man, Lucas Dore. Man, how much I love this guy. And how much I love Aubameyang. And how Shaka's pretty cool. But I don't know, there's so many players here that I just think, yo, it's time, man. It's time for you to go. I mean, Mr. Assist Man Arsenal, you guys, I mean, Ozil, you guys ready to let him go? You know? And I look at this team and I say to myself, look, Koscielny, Mustafi, Socrates, Lucas, Obamian, and Mkhitaryan, Ozil, Lacazette, and Rambo. And then what? Like, what's really happening here? Young player, young player, young player, El Nani, young player, like young player after young player after young player, but nothing really that's like, yo, this is Arsenal, bro. When you think of Chelsea, you think Conte and Hazard and come on, man. Are you serious? When you when you think of Manchester United, there's Paul Pogba. You know what I mean? There's there's I, well, Paul, you know that that team has a lot of stars, but just hasn't really like. They still have Alexis Sanchez. They got Paul Pogba. You look at Man City, how they have Aguero and KDB, and there's so many big names, right? Salah and 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 and, and, and for, uh, Roberto Firmino and Mane, and everybody has big players. Our biggest players here at Arsenal is Aubameyang. Lucas Torre is really coming on, but would you say he's a superstar? So you look at this and you go, you know what? Uzil's supposed to be like kind of the, the superstar face of this team. And is he really holding that baggage? Is he really carrying that torch correctly? There's so much I look at this and I'm like, yo, it's time to rebuild, man. It's time to blow this up and bring in some young, some fresh, some starlight players, right? I see space here for Dybala. I see space here uh, uh, maybe for an Iguahin, man. I see space here uh, for someone... Uh, 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 someone like a like like a, like an Asensio, like a Isco. I see so much like missing on this team. I see space in this back line for Koulibaly. I see space in this back line for Manolos. You know what I mean? Like I see so much. I'm cool with Leno. I'm cool with Czech, but I see so much that could happen. I see so much potential. I look at the right back position. I see Bellerin, who's an awesome player that I love. But you know what I mean? Is it time for a Nelson Smith? I look at this left back position. Obviously, another great left back. I start thinking to myself, and I'm like, yo, is it time to bring in a Marcelo? I mean, a Marcelo, my fault, uh, Alex Telles. Uh, 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 you know what I mean? Uh, 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 Alex Telles or, 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 or Alexis Sanchez. Like, I mean, I mean, uh, um, Sandro. I look at this team and I say, yo, it's a good team. But it's time to put superstars, man. It's time to put people here that the Arsenal fans want to run out there and buy their jersey like they did for Thierry Henry. You know what I'm saying? Uh, it's time to put starlight around this team and get people afraid. And that's how I look at it, bro. And I'm not saying Arsenal's bad. I'm just saying, like, yo, can you give 
the the Arsenal fans some stars? Can you give them some players that, you know what I mean? Not Ozil, you know, three games in a row, he shows up and then he takes vacation. Even though he's playing, he looks like he's on vacation. Can we get Ozil? Can we get some stars, man? Can we get some freaking stars? You know? That's what this team needs. And that's what I'm going to bring to this team, man. We're going to build this team, you know, from the bottom up. And I know a lot, a lot of Arsenal fans say, yo, we have good players. I know you guys have good players, but you need more. And I'm not saying we should turn around and start selling everybody. But, yo, someone like Koscielny, he's been here forever. And, man, do I love the guy. Koscielny's an absolute animal by 32 years old. Been at the club since 2010. Yo, he's amazing. But your time is up, bro. Your time is up. I'm just going to go ahead and be dead-ass honest, right? Yo, 14 years without a title. Yo, he's been there since 2010. It's 2019. It's been 14 years since the title. Obviously, Koscielny wasn't there yet. Come on, like, you know what I'm saying? So maybe Koscielny's on his way out the door. Mustafi, I like him too much, so he ain't going. Socrates, we got something We got something good even though he's 30 years old. We just need somebody else like a Koulibaly, like a Manolos. We need something like this. We got the boy Chambers, very young, young player, very, very young, but he's on loan. At the moment, we got Holding, who's also on loan. And honestly, bro, you could probably go on loan. I, I, I mean, he's not on loan, but I could send him on loan. Thinking about it, but I'm probably not. Young player here that I'm definitely going to go ahead and send on loan. And again, Arsenal fans, don't take this the wrong way because I think Arsenal in real life are playing good football. I think they have the potential, but you guys need more, bro. You guys are competing in the, the best league in the world, bro. You're competing against the Mane's, man, and the Hazards, bro. You know what I'm saying? You're competing... Against some of the best teams in football, the hardest competition is the Premier League. And this is your, like, your starting 11 is Gucci. But then after that, what's happening here, man? You got a couple awesome players, but then what's happening here, man? Um, yo, I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. Monroe's been here forever, yo. His contract's almost up. I'm selling him. Um, I, I'm, I'm done with having Arsenal the way they are, bro. I'm done. I'm done with it. I'm done with the Arsenal fans having to deal with this stuff, man. I'm going to send a lot of these young players on loan. Lucas Torre, he's staying because we're building around this man. Yo, this is someone that the Arsenal fans have, like, you know, gravitated to. They like him. They want to rock his jersey. They're excited about the young man. And that's what that's what we need, man. That's what we need, you know. We're going to keep the fake David Luiz around, man. El Nanny, is his time up, man? He's, ah, let's keep him for now. Mkhitaryan. I mean... I respect Mkhitaryan, I'm not going to lie, man. I feel like we use Mkhitaryan as, 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 as what Uzil's supposed to deliver. That's kind of where I'm at with that, you know what I'm saying? Um, young player here, another young player. I'm just putting all the young players on loan. It doesn't mean they're leaving. Rambo's contract's almost up. We got a few options here, right? Uh, I think we renew him and get his contract fixed and keep him around. He's been here for a long time, so we might as well keep him around. Shaka is one of those ones that's like, yo, I think a lot of people wanted him to like wanted him to live up to something else as well. And I don't, a lot of these players just haven't lived up to what they what 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 we what we think they could be. If Uzil does come with a big offer, I will sell him. I'm not gonna lie to you guys. I'm not gonna beat around the bush. I will sell him. Laka Zeti and Aubameyang. That's gonna be our number one, our number two. But what we do need is probably to sell Welbeck. And we need to bring in someone like an Andre Silva. You know who I'm talking about? The dude that was at AC Milan and then went to Sevilla on loan as a third as a third striker. Someone that could just come in and score goals. We need somebody like that, man. I'm going to rebuild this team because, again, yo, big name players. Aubameyang, Lacazette, Xhaka, Mkhitaryan, Lucas Torre. What else do we got, man? Ozil. Like, where are the big, big name players? Wait, check. Like, where are the big, big name players, man? Where's our Ronaldo? Where's our Messi? Where's our Neymar? Where's our Mbappe? Where's our Hazard? Where's our Dybala? Like, where's the big name players? And that's what we want to bring. Let me know if you guys like the things I'm saying in this career mode. And again, bro, I don't want people to think I'm taking shots at Arsenal because that's the last thing I'm doing. I'm just saying that Arsenal fans are sick and tired, bro. Sick and tired. And you know why I got so much emotion? This I'm not an Arsenal fan. I'm a Washington Redskins fan. And you're probably like, that's two different sports. But I know what they're going through, bro. We always have, we always sign players that are supposed to be that next star. Or we believe in them so much and it just never pans out to be what we got them for, yo. And it just sucks. And we keep going through the same process, man. No matter what manager we bring, no matter what we do, it's the same freaking process. And I'm sick of it. And I'm sick of it. I know the Arsenal fans are sick of it as well. And it's going to end right here, man. It's going to end right here, right now. We're going to sign the right players. We're going to bring in the right talent. We're going to sign the players that fit the system that we're playing, which might even be a three-back system. I'm not even joking. I want Arsenal to be an attacking-minded football team 
And I think I'm going, look, we get an offering from Rambo, for Rambo, who his contract's about to end and Spurs want to sign him. That's crazy if I do that. Um, but, yo, I'm, I'm in, let's, look, look, when I tell you guys I want Arsenal to be an attacking-minded team, I'm talking about I want them to be an attacking-minded team. For example, look at this formation right here, a 3-5-1-1. I ain't never seen this thing in my life. But I, I'm going to be dead honest with you. It looks kind of cool. Imagine this back line, Socrates, Mustafi, Koulibaly. Yeah, Lucas Torre and Xhaka right here. Then, what is that formation in front? That's a CM, so we got two CDMs. Bellerin would hit the bench. Let's say we bring in Rambo as the only as the CM right here. We got a winger right there. Aubameyang will be uh, kind of like, he could play left mid or striker. What can Lacazette play? All right, so what I'm saying here is we put Aubameyang out on the left. We put Lacazette up at the number nine. And we bring in a we bring in a cam type player like a, or a center forward type player or a cam type player like Dembe, like a Dybala. That's what I say. I say we bring in a a a a, a player like Dybala. That's what I'm saying. I say Dybala goes where Uzil's at, and we do something like this, something different, but something that's exciting, something that the 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 the, the, the Arsenal, the people of Arsenal, see, yeah, we coming out to attack. We're coming out to win this Premier League in style. And if that means Bellerin ain't got a spot on the team, then Bellerin ain't got a spot on the team. We sell the left back, we sell the right back, we bring in more defenders. But Socrates, Socrates Mustafi, Koscielny, someone like Koulibaly, and maybe even Manolos bringing both of them. And then maybe it's like Manolos here, you know, Socrates in the middle and Koulibaly outside, you know? And then, yo, Bill from there, maybe bring in another CDM to play with Lucas Torre, find the right CM, and rebuild this team. Am I saying let's sell Uzi on Ramsey? I'm not saying that. I'm saying let's keep Rams, let's keep uh, Uzil, let's keep Mkhitaryan, but let's let's get players that are going to go in, and these guys might be backups. Let me know if you guys feel the same way I feel, but it's time to turn Arsenal into an attacking-minded, beastly and feastly team. This is going to be a hell of a career mode, man. If you guys are excited for this career mode, smash a big old thumbs up, man. Can we get this to freaking 5,000 likes if you guys are ex as excited as I am for this career mode. I, wa I want to thank you guys so much for everyone who voted on the career mode in the comments down below. I saw Arsenal so much, so I'm going to bring it to you guys, man. It's going to be super fun. I'm excited. kind of like tradition at this point to rebuild Arsenal, and we're going to do it. There's emotion in me, baby. There's emotion in me because I know what you Arsenal fans are going through. It's time to fix it. Been your boy, Double A Nine Skills. Next episode's going to be lit in the comments down below. Let me know who you guys want me to sign. Smash that big old thumbs up. Make sure to subscribe, and I'll catch you back here same time, same place tomorrow. Booyah, we out. Thank you.